Rancher and Bigfoot Show. All right now. Good afternoon, folks, and welcome to the first edition of Noisy's Outdoor Adventure and Bigfoot Show for 2015. As you can see from behind us, we had a tremendous find just to start off the season here. Um, that right there, as the locals tell me, is a actual Bigfoot slide. Uh, the Bigfoots in this area like to come here and uh, use that, uh, especially when it rains, to kind of like a slip and slide. Um, so we just happened to be in the area and um, was talking to some locals last night and they were telling me about this spot. So I thought I'd come out here um, for you guys and check this spot out again. Um, this is the first edition of the Noisy Outdoor Adventure Bigfoot Show. Uh, we want to thank our sponsors, DG Gifts, uh, www.dggifts in Pendleton, Oregon. Uh, also, we want to thank Jeremy Arno for the music, where you can visit his website at www.jeremyarno.com. And also, Bob and Marta Perry for the purchase of the GoPro. We're looking forward to a great season. We thank you for coming along and always looking for some more sponsors. So if you have some extra change laying around, uh, you could throw it our way. we got a lot of things planned for the coming year, and we'll keep you posted. Again, we want to thank you uh, for coming along with us. We're going to go around in this, in this area and look for some Bigfoot. And as you can see from um, behind me here, this is a great place for uh, Bigfoots to be. So we're going to go look around. I'm going to do a little fishing today on today's show, uh, a little hiking, uh, see what we can find here. So thanks again for coming along and joining us on the first edition of the Noisy Outdoor Adventure and Bigfoot Show. Well, folks, just starting off uh, our little hike and, and looking around here to see what we could find and come across this bridge and, um, you know, some of you might just think this is a regular old just pedestrian bridge, but this here bridge could also be used for the local Bigfoot to cross, uh, especially in the wintertime here. This uh, river gets going pretty fast here, and, uh, you know, Bigfoots don't like to get wet all the time. You know, they like to stay dry too, so um, they come here and they use this here bridge to cross over um, into this area to go up, you know, like we mentioned earlier, uh, to go up to their, uh, to their slide, and you can see it just back in the background. Um, there um you know so bigfoots like to use uh things like this too um of course you know probably man-made yeah but um the bigfoots have adapted to uh to use things like this to uh to make it a little bit more convenient for them too so um we're gonna go on here across this bridge and uh see what we can see here um as we continue our, our look around Well, folks, in order to bring you some of the best shots and um, that free money can buy, um, we've uh, climbed up to this here perch here where we feel like a Bigfoot would come and stand on these rocks here just like I'm standing on and view down into the valley there and make sure the coast is clear uh, before they go on down to the stream um, to catch some fish and to... Uh, uh, get a drink of water. Um, we are a little out of breath because we're a lot out of shape um, But we wanted to uh, get you the best shot free money could buy. So again, as you can see, this is some rugged terrain um, We've uh, used the old animal trail that you could see right there in the back um, and um, To get up to this spot and we're gonna try um, to use our our skills to go up a little higher uh, again to bring you uh, some great shots and pictures. Uh, once again, we're standing on this rock and this is a spot we feel like uh, the local Bigfoots could come and, and stand on this rock just like I am. And as you can see, it's uh, quite a ways down there and uh, survey the land before they go down and get a drink or go fishing in the, in the river down there. Um, so once again, I uh, hope you're enjoying today's show and don't forget to visit uh, www.jeremyarno.com where there are no excuses. 
Well, folks, another great find of uh, why there might be possibly be some Bigfoots in this area again. Not only have the locals told us that uh, this is a prime spot for uh, Bigfoots and uh, their activities and uh, some of the stories we heard uh, last night, but also walking around pine cones, there's, there's droppings, um, could be possibly from an elk or a deer, um, which means that... Um, in this area there could be Bigfoots because um, as many of us know uh, with from our research um, Bigfoots like uh, to be in mountainous areas and they like where there's a lot of water and a lot of food and so um, we we found all those things here and so um, you know we're we're quite certain that this could be a great place for a Bigfoot to be hanging out um, we quite possibly possibly could be uh, being monitored by one right now um, as we're in the area and so we're keeping a close eye out close look out for different signs and I'm sure they're watching us too right now so um, you might even see one in the background there so I uh, hope you're enjoying, enjoying today's show I'm a little flustered today uh, but we're going to make it through today's show you might notice first off that I'm not wearing the traditional noisy outdoor adventure Bigfoot t-shirt or pullover um, today I have a uh, the Golden Eagles sweatshirt on because today in today in history the Golden Eagles will be playing for the state 1A boys basketball championship and so I'm honoring them by wearing this sweatshirt on today's show um, so you'll be able to go back in history and, and watch this and know that today is the day that they played uh, for the state championship that also might give you a little indication of where we're at um, because we are trying to keep this area undisclosed um, because we told um, the locals that we would. So anyway, I hope you're enjoying today's show. And uh, don't forget to visit DG Gifts to get your Noisy Outdoor Adventure and Bigfoot t-shirt. Well, folks, we have stumbled on something tremendous right here. Those quite possibly could be the bones of a juvenile Bigfoot. Um, some of you will speculate and say, oh, no, it's an elk or it's a deer. Uh, but truly, without DNA evidence, we don't really know. So we could say quite possibly it could be the bones of a juvenile Bigfoot. And that is a tremendous find up here. We knew that we would find something today. Um, we knew that we were in the right spot. Once again, folks, um, you know, to the naked eye, what you would see behind me right there, that blue um, ribbon tied around that tree, the naked eye would probably just think, oh, well, that's some logger up here or somebody, you know, um, telling people, um, you know, what tree to cut down. Uh, but that very well could be um, a sophisticated way for the Bigfoots to communicate. Um, you know, telling people that this area is safe, other Bigfoots that this area is safe. Um, because as I look around here and as you can see, um, there's not a whole lot of traffic around here. There's not a whole lot of trash. Um, just a bunch of pine cones and, and sticks and things that, that would tell me that there's not a whole lot of uh, human activity up in this area. So why would there need to be um, ribbons tied around the tree for, for humans? Um, I really think that is a sign. Uh, for the local Bigfoots to uh, to communicate. So that's an awesome, awesome uh, find that we've got here. Again, undisclosed location. Um, as we told the locals, we would want people to bombard them uh, in the future as our show goes worldwide, um, you know, to come up here and, and look for Bigfoot. We uh, did some research and asked around and uh, got permission. So uh, we want to keep this area undisclosed, undisclosed as possible, as much as possible. So. Um, once again, though, this is a tremendous find for us. Well, folks, we've uh, made our rounds here at the mountains, and uh, at this here particular spot, we did see some great signs of what 
there possibly could be uh, some local boot clips in the area. We've seen quite a bit of bones. Um, not sure if those are elk bones, deer bones, or Bigfoot bones. Um, we didn't disturb them. We left them there. Um, you know, it's for the place to be preserved. Um, but they quite possibly could be um, some Bigfoot bones in this area. Um, before we go any further, I want to dedicate this show to uh, a future Bigfoot hunter himself. Uh, he just had a birthday last week. Uh, he turned five years old, Jackson Billy. Um, Jackson, if you happen to be watching this show, I want to say happy birthday to you. And this here Bigfoot call goes out to Jackson Billy. Adventure and Bigfoot Show.